This is Sarah, and I've been working on the Pulse Pack this past week. And that is part of the SheBone project, which I just recently kind of told everybody about. When I was brainstorming everything for SheBone, I decided that I wanted to house the primary mothership brain of the whole project inside of a transparent red heart-shaped backpack which at the time, in my, my mind, seemed like the sort of thing that you'd be able to find readily on the internet as an accessory, but you can't. So I'm gonna have to make one. I was able to find two or three vendors that sell what is transparent vinyl in bolts, so I picked up two or three colors to play around with. And where the material is perhaps a little bit thinner than I would like, uh, the color's nice. It's like a good pinky, orangey, glowy, delicious looking fruit roll-up or something. I decided not to try sewing this vinyl fabric stuff because uh, I don't have a whole lot of confidence in my ability to sew the seams in a way that won't look like absolute garbage. I kind of defaulted to what I, I do best, which is design things in CAD. I don't know if it's gonna make a fantastic backpack piece, but it should at least look like a heart and be an appropriate housing for the circuit board that goes inside of it. I want to be able to take the backpack apart easily if needed, so I design the body like a drum. There are three separate primary pieces. The main body, which is like a cylinder with vertical walls, and a top and bottom piece that are like frames, holding the surface of the vinyl nice and taut. Regarding the vinyl, I created a paper template to help me place my holes so that they'd line up correctly with the ones on the frame. Then I used a fancy punch device to cut the holes. It took me most of the week to print all of my parts, but once they were ready, I assembled everything to make sure that they fit the way I expected, that the assembly was strong, and that I was still happy with the overall aesthetic. Once I took everything apart, it was time to permanently fix the vinyl to the frame. Before I started the meticulous process, I bolted the vinyl in position for both the top and bottom frames, and set the vertical wall piece in the channel of the middle drum segment. This took a little bit of finesse. Next, I cut many 9mm segments of raw filament and threaded them through both materials. Hooray for properly registered holes. Next, I used my soldering iron to produce a small bead on either side of the filament pieces, then flattened the bead against the frame with my finger, because I like pain. The hardest part of this build was mashing the other lip of vinyl into the top frame piece from below. This took some patience. Once the vinyl was attached to the three primary structural segments, I put everything back together. So the very last thing I did was screw all of my ports in place around the outside edge of the backpack. The only thing left to do now is wait for the pulse circuit board to arrive from Fab. So once it does arrive, it'll mount in the very center of the backpack like this. Nine Molex connectors around the edge of the board will branch off and terminate into the bulkhead connectors, which adapt to Cat5 on the opposite side. This basically turns the backpack into a big breakout board for the brain PCB. So I'm trying to get all this stuff done, like in a timely manner, because at the end of this month, I'm going to Tokyo for the first time ever, and I want to bring some of this stuff with me. To where? Around the city. <laughs> the, the reason why I'm going to Tokyo is for a philosophical summit that is uh, held by Ars Electronica's Tokyo Initiative, and it's called the Future Innovators Summit and I'll be talking on a panel with other artists and philosophers about tech skin. So there will probably be a lot of discussion about wearables and the future of wearable technology, and that's sort of the thing that I want to bring to the table, among other stuff. I get to live my, my cyberpunk fantasies at last, and I'll have Noodle with me, so I'll be kind of this like roboticist mommy in my leotard sporting my kink wearables and my three-year-old child. So I'm like the mother of the future. Uh, once the boards do arrive, I'm going to have to hurry up and compile all the components onto them, mount the heart inside of the backpack, close it up, and then kind of test everything and hope that it all just kind of works. <laughs> uh, so my fingers are crossed. My next update is going to be specifically on the beatbox, which is the crotch salmon that whispers to your lady parts. I say you like everyone's gonna be wearing these. Yeah. So until then, as always, thank you for watching and keep making awesome stuff out there.